We're filming. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, and we're here with uh, Matthew, who is, uh, I'm not going to say under the weather, but... Uh, I'm hanging in there. You're hanging in there, I'm his voice is. Yeah, so you know what I keep forgetting to talk about? Uh oh Is the lock card, which is, um, uh, let me tell you what it is, it's very exciting. So everyone who's got a Club Dave card, you know that you have like 350 different loyalty cards in your wallet, right? You got your big Y, the Stop and Shop. Dave's, everyone, everybody's CVS's, Walgreens, everybody's cards. So this company called Lock uh, came to me and said, would your customers like it if you only had to have one card in their wallet and then everybody's loyalty cards would be tied into that mm -hmm. one card? It wouldn't change anything. So your Club Dave points or your, your big Y, everything would, whatever it is, would be Goes to its own account. Goes to its own account, but you could just carry one card. card that you could walk into the participating establishments, restaurants, whatever. It's universal. It's universal, so you don't have to have a million cards. So we started, we've got, I don't know, we're switching our Club Dave people over to the lock cards, and I don't know, I think we're way over a thousand new. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of them. Yeah, it's a lot of them, and it's just, it's very, very cool. So the coolest thing is, you can go on to the lock website and right on that website you can see well here's dave's i've got 300 points here's um big y yeah well big y's not on it but whoever is whoever is on it the different points and then you you don't have to worry about any information getting out it's they don't have access to anything except for how many points you have so i think it's very cool so we're we're 100% behind this and we're, it's very cool uh, that we are the first people in the country to mm -hmm. do this. Yeah, it's yeah. very cool. So what happened was the, f the guys from the lock saw me when I was doing a uh, presentation in, um, at the uh, National Retail Federation. Uh, and so they, I went to, went to elementary school. I haven't, wow. seen the, I haven't seen one of the guys since elementary school. And, and we hooked up at this convention, and hmm. the rest is history. There so you go. I just wanted to explain to everybody what it is. That's awesome. So, Matthew with no voice. With no voice. I'm going to do my best shot here. Okay. We have, yeah. everyone thinks of Betta's, the yes. little fish in a cup. <clears throat> oh, it's is gorgeous. A common, <clears throat> excuse me. This is Speak a common up. better. Up, up, up. Lower this your voice. Comma, this is a common better. Yeah. And he's actually in a tangerine you gotta, you color. Gotta, you I'm can't sorry. move your hand there. He's actually a tangerine color, so he's an yep. unusual. But this is just your traditional betta, yep. but an unusually bright orange color. Some of the nicest ones we've had in a while. And caring for these guys, they're pretty much simple. You don't need a filter for them. No. Nope. You don't need a huge tank. They actually prefer to be in a small, small. aquarium. Because where do they come in the wild? They actually live in Thailand. And they live in rice paddies and very small tributaries shallow. off the river, yeah. very shallow. So <clears> when <throat> people come in and say these are too small, these are too small. That's not correct. The not. worst, a lot of times, if you put them in a bigger tank, yep. they're actually going to huddle up in the corner. And, and, and so, Matt, how come? Oh, wow! Some of these are also with just like fancy wow. goldfish. Yeah. With genetic crossbreeding, yep. they've actually come up with a whole bunch of different variants. Yeah. Uh, this particular That's one. That's what is, his parents did. Yeah. They, Variants and crossbreeding, yeah. Crossbreeding, yeah, yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope. Yes. <laughs> All right, this is... I think it was cross-variants breeding. Cross-variants or like someone yeah. across town. There we go. <laughs> this right here is a half-moon betta, and it's a little different because, as you can see, all the fins pretty much almost connect to one big half moon. Oh, that's why they call it a half moon. Half moon. So they're much, much brighter, much bigger. What do they do when they're riding around in cars? Well... I guess they moon traffic. <laughs> Ooh, half. Half. Half moon. There right. we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, there we go. So you get them. And then here's another one. He's this really is really cool. This is actually called a butterfly betta because he looks like a butterfly. Look at the colors on that. Wow. And look at the big fins up front. So we don't so. get these all the time. 
we have for a while we weren't but we actually have a supplier who's been giving us a steady oh. source of these now okay this one is magnificent it's called an elephant ear because you can see the fins up front they look like the big ears on an elephant you can see how these they're shimmering in the front there yeah but beautiful beautiful I'm surprised and you didn't forget his name elephants never forget oh I don't know if but Really nice fish. Of course, with all the males, these are all the males, you yes. put them together, they're they going trouble. to kill each other. Right. And you don't want to do that because that ruins the betta. But what you so do what to solve do that, have? if you want to put a bunch of bettas together. Oh, how cool. Look at this. This is a betta falls cascading aquarium. And how this works is they're little mini cubes that are stacked up on top of a, essentially a big filter. Yeah. And water is pulled, collects down here, pushed up to the top through a filter pad and then cascades down like a little waterfall. So it keeps all the fish in their own little cubicles. And now, you can Matt, actually, can they see each other? They can see each other, so they'll spread their fins and yep. do their little threat can display. Can you block them from seeing each other if you want? You can if you want, but it doesn't harm them to do their threat. A lot of people okay. like that because it's an impressive display. Yeah. It doesn't really stress them or anything like that. What you can also do, which we had one of these set up, you can put a little LED light strip on the bottom and illuminate it from the bottom oh, up. Cool. So it's a very, very, very yeah. neat, yeah. neat, and it runs just like to maintain it. You just simply take one of the cubes, drain the water out, put fresh cube back in, so you're doing a partial water change. And then, of course, there's a traditional filter pad. You just slide out. Oh, how cool. So this is a great, it comes in black or white, so it's yep. a really, really, really neat And that, neat And aquarium. we have smaller versions, or? This is one size fits all, yep. so it's about three so gallons total. I don't know total. if you can see what it looks like in real life there. Looks like that. It's like a half, almost like a stairway, a cascading stairway. Yeah. So it's actually a really, really, really cool. Oh, look at the shepherd. Look at the shepherd. There's a big old just shepherd coming. Big yep. mother. Big one. Oops, wow. Oh, oh, oh like looks like, yeah. Got a bad leg back there. Yep. But anyway, that's another one. Yep. This one here is $79.99. Yep. Tank right there. It's, but we also have this little tank here. This is unique because it has sound effects. It actually connects to your Android phone or your iPod. So you can create sound effects of the ocean. Um, has lighting effects. You can do different light colors. Um, it's a fun gimmicky gift. It'd be great in a playroom or a classroom. Um, unique, different. Sound effects? Yeah. You figure out ocean sound effects. Some people like the relaxing sound. So that calms sound. the fish? It calms the person looking at the fish. Oh, it's for the person, person, not for the fish. Not in the water. It's a little oh, microphone on top. Oh, I got it. I thought the so, fish like music. No, the fish can sit there and jive to the Grateful Dead. There you go. No, um, they would. They, what would the fish listen to? Fish. Right. Fish. There you go. Of course. There you right. go. But so what? It's time, especially please. after that, yeah, please. That was. Well. <laughs> well. It's medication. It's, Blame the medication. Yes, Matt's medication is kicking in. So mm -hmm. uh, don't go. Don't go. We're, we're going to talk about my favorite little animals. Uh, in the whole world. What's that? Guinea pigs. Oh. Yeah. Sandy, is that you? <laughs> Do you squeaking when you walk? No, but my hip clicks. Oh. It does. It does? Yeah. Oh, we, we're already on. <laughs> we're on with clicking hip Sandy. So we, we're here with squeaky Jody. And uh, so you're in the, this is actually where Jody sleeps in the cage at night. And th so these are my favorite pets. I mean, They're outside so of, outside dogs, dogs, outside of shepherds. I know. But outside of that, so tell me about guinea pigs. Guinea pigs, I think, are the, the perfect pet for a young child. They're not squishable yeah. like a hamster. Yeah. They will calm down with constant handling. They'll sit in a child's lap. They're just, they hardly ever bite. Yeah. Just perfect, perfect, perfect pet. Pets. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. How long do they live? About eight or nine years. Oh, which is also better than a much hamster. better. It's right. Much, much better. Right. Yep. Right. So um, we Look have a Uncle whole. Jay. I know they're Don't they're adorable. Look at that face. 
<laughs> so I know we have different, there's different colors and different flavors oh, my and different heavens. hairstyles and, yes. and all kinds of stuff. Anything you can imagine, I think there's a guinea pig for it. Right, and we get a lot of our guinea pigs from the 4-H guys? I believe so. Yeah, which is very cool. And I'm a huge believer in that uh, to keep young people involved, keep them off the computer for a few minutes and playing video games. Most and definitely. So, so they can learn about uh, real life and right. about taking, taking care of things and responsibility. So I, I love that. So, so guinea pigs are the, that's, this, if you can't get a dog or a cat, a guinea this pig. Is a perfect. Definitely. Right? Even better than a betta. Yeah, much better than a betta. Sorry, Matt. It's hard to do that with a betta. It is. They don't like to be pet. Yeah, right, right, right. So tell me about the care and nurturing of a betta. I mean, of a <laughs> guinea pig. What do they need? Uh, guinea pigs, this is obviously a baby. It is going to get considerably larger as it grows. Yeah. So I always recommend getting the largest cage you can possibly Which get. Which would be like one of these. At least one of those, right. preferably even the bigger one. Yeah. Because if you go bigger, you can also litter train them if you have enough room in there for a litter box. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know. Actually, I did know that, but yeah. you can do it. Yep. By using just an ordinary cat litter pan yep. in a specific corner, yep. put some of their feces in there, use yep. the regular bedding that you're using in the yep. cage, yep. and about 70 to 80 percent of the time they will poop in there. Yep. But the biggest trick to do it is to place it in the cage so on one side you have the water bottle and on the other side you have the hay rack. Yeah. Forcing them to get in the litter box because they poop the most when they're drinking water and eating hay. Oh, okay. What the hay? <laughs> so, so now, now that we've learned that, <laughs> let's talk about the best kind of food and what they need to eat because there is a huge difference. And so this we definitely have to go about that some people think that this looks the same uh, as rabbit food. Not at all the same. And rabbit food's cheaper. So they right. feed, right. Yeah, not at all the same and not yeah. really very good for them. Right. Where the plant base might be the same, guinea pig foods are laced with all their specific vitamins right. and minerals and it's loaded with vitamin C, C. which they do not make Correct. themselves. Right, right, right. And we, we love Oxbow. Uh, we love Oxbow. Right. It's, we Definitely. just think it's a small family run company and they, they love yep. uh, animals. Were you here when their vet was on with no. us? That was a uh, member of the vet. He's just, it's fabulous. And he is a big believer, not just for guinea pigs, but for all little guys in alfalfa. Yep. Alfalfa when they're young, yep. because alfalfa tends to put on weight. Oh. So alfalfa should be used when the critters are younger, yep. especially guinea pigs, because if they have too much alfalfa as an adult, it tends to lead to obesity and possibly diabetes and heart attacks. Oh. So little ones get alfalfa. Yeah. The bigger ones get the Timothy. Right. So the Timothy, we sell more of this than we do. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Right. Much more. Right. So this is, you just always, 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 like we do, you always have it in, yep. in the case. Now, so what can you use for bedding? Some people, you can just, can you use this Some people use that, not a yeah. personal preference of mine. Yeah. Um, I like aspen shavings. Yeah. They don't have an aroma, they don't have an oil, uh, but yet when the animal pees, the liquid will dissipate. Right, now there's some stuff you can't use. Never cedar, right. deadly for small animals, and right. pine is still being discussed because really? of the oils. Right, right. So yeah. you might as well just stay away so with it. So soft wood or aspen. Yep, yep. Or, and some people use... Or crinkles or care crinkles. fresh. Yeah, all, all kinds of things. But Personal just, preference. Folks, no cedar. You know, when we first started in business, we used to sell cedar for everything. Oh, definitely. Back in the day, that's, right. all, that's all you had. Right, it was all we had. And then, yep. and then aspen came in, yep. and then, uh, then all the other stuff came in. So is it better to have one guinea pig or... Well, you should never have two males yeah. because somebody wants to be an alpha male, no offense. Yeah. Um, two females will most of the time be okay. Yeah. However, the bond with the human child will be stronger if they do not have one of their own kind. Oh. If they have one of their own kind, they don't really think they need you that much. They've got oh. somebody else to play with. Oh, okay. And if you put a male and a female in the same case, you'll they have babies. Have babies. All, all oh, the time. yep. Precious. Absolutely right. darling. Right. Born good to go. Right. But yeah, they really are. Oh, they're darling. They look like right. the big headed remember, bobble remember toys. Remember we used to get the hairless ones? Vaguely. Or was that rats? No, that's rats. We oh, got hairless really rats. 
but people love those things. Well, especially people with allergies. Yeah, and especially bald people, <laughs> because they, they can relate to them so much. Mo Definitely. Mostly the men, <laughs> not, not, not the women <laughs> so much. They don't relate to them. <laughs> yes, so while we're, while we're on that subject, so I know that uh, every once in a while we also get, which is the ones that have the hair that goes all different ways? The, uh, oh, is that the a Peruvian? Peruvian, yeah. And where are they from? I would imagine <laughs> Peru. <laughs> really? Well, actually, ours are probably local, but ultimately back a few generations. They were, they were, uh, yeah. They emigrated um, from, uh, yeah, from Peru. Yeah, they, they hopped the bus. Okay, so. Right, right. Good. We point. also have oxbow now. We have all these little treats. Now, this is, I know with rabbits, it's really important. Chew toys. How chew important to are chew toys? Very, very important. Um, guinea pigs are rodents. Their teeth grow continuously. Yeah. So they have to have something hard to keep them worn down. Yeah. Um, and something like this made out of wood obviously gives them something to chew on. Yep. But they can also bounce it around and the little thingy inside makes noise so it keeps their attention. Right. So it's toy too. Toy too. Okay. So I know we have a cardboard tube which they will destroy. Yep. Oh, we have definitely. lots of card, card but they like to hide in those, right? Yep. Yep. And they like to run around. Yep. And where is the do they have water or are we Oh yeah, yep, the water, water thing is so the best way for water is in one bottle. of those bottles. Right, because the way these guys run around all the yeah. time, if it was a dish, it would be loaded Dis with everything. Right, right, right. Yep. right. So that's it, folks. So uh, again, if you need to get a pet or you're considering, this is this is what to do, this, right? The, yeah. How these big will he get? Awesome. He gets about 20 pounds? No. About yay big. Oh, okay. I mean, substantial enough Probably for a child. Probably five pounds, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I look think at, they're look perfect. How cute. Yeah, look Absolutely. How cute. Look at just, just a it. snuggler. Right. Is that a boy yeah. or a girl? This is a girl. According to the sign, it's a girl. According, I didn't uh, check you didn't myself. Check, you didn't check no. it. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, don't go away, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Dave Soda. Hey everybody, we're back. So I know that um, every once in a while I love to do a little nutritional thing about cats. And it's funny that uh, this will air in about two weeks, and then in about two weeks, we'll get lots of customers come into all the stores and say that, you know what, my, my cat's been eating XYZ. Thanks for doing this, um, this little, I'll use the word infomercial, but um, cats in this country, uh, it is almost epidemic that they are getting diabetes and they are overweight, and the overweight helps cause the diabetes. I'm going to make an impassioned plea to cut down on the amount of dry food that you feed your cats and add high quality canned food or even raw food. So you understand how diabetes works. Diabetes, basically, um, the cat eats carbs, carbs turns to sugar, it spikes the blood levels. Cats are pure carnivores. They don't need any carbs. They do way better on, on pure protein. So there is a wonderful website, and maybe Joe can put it on the, we've, he's done it before. If you Google, the, it's cat, it, right, Joe's done, it's catinfo.org. And I promise you, if you go to that website and read what this veterinarian has to say about cats and diabetes, you'll be scared out of feeding your cat dry food for forever. So there are, uh, you know, all different qualities of dry food. There's everything from Friskies and Fancy Feast and Nine Lives, all the way up to some of the foods that I'll talk to you about. But what I want to especially talk to you about is foods that have very little, if no, carbs. So if your cat, and, and uh, I don't want the cat to hear this, but the last time you were at the vet and the vet said, you know, the cat could lose a few pounds. The way not to do it is don't switch to a light dry food. 
that's not how to get the cat to lose weight. How to get the cat or dog to lose weight is feed less dry and feed pure protein. In this case, um, and, and actually Dr. Lisa Pearson, the lady from uh, uh, catinfo.org, cat she's the one who convinced me to do this. We came out with a 95% meat canned food. There's five flavors of it. It's very reasonably priced. It's not 100% meat because the government won't let you put, because you have water in there and you have vitamins and minerals. So you can't say it's 100% meat. I also can't say the government is so wacky about this. I can't say it's low carb because they have not defined what medium carb and low carb is. And I'm not kidding you about this. The FDA would come after me. But any of the brands, we make one. There's, uh, I put some over here. There's Core, there's Evo, there's um, Waruva, there's Applause. There's all different kinds. They're not crazy price. These are the healthiest ways to feed your cat. So, um, I mean, think about this. You get a cat or a dog, you want the cat or the dog to live as long a life and you don't want to spend a zillion dollars at the vet and you don't want to, want to have to deal with diabetes. I can't guarantee, uh, just like if I say you, if you don't smoke, you won't get lung cancer because it can happen, but the chances of your cat or dog getting diabetes gets just, it's so much lower the percentage if you feed a proper diet. Now, this is kind of interesting. I was just discussing this with Joe. Cats are really funny. And if your cats have been used to eating, you know, dry food for their entire life, sometimes it's hard to get them to eat canned. So my suggestion is slowly just feed less and less of the dry and add some of the canned. And everyone who's got cats out there is laughing because cats are such a pain in the neck. They, you know, here's why you can tell the cats are such a pain in the neck. I think there's 80 flavors of Fancy Feast. Because you can take tuna and chicken, but some cats like it sliced, some like it cubed, some like it pate, so, you know, some like gravy. So there's, that's why we have all these different flavors. Here's a couple of really interesting, this is a company called Applause, which I think is a really cute, cute name. We have this and we have a few other brands that are not complete and balanced meals. You can't just feed this to your cat because they didn't put vitamins and minerals in. So the ingredients for this one is, for example, uh, let me see if I can read this, chicken, chicken broth, and rice. Additives, none. Suggested daily feeding, uh, fresh drinking water should be made, blah, 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 and it says right on here, because the government makes you do this, this product is intended for intermittent or supplemental feeding, which means this is what's called a topper. So, and they have to put a little bit of rice in there because they want it to, to keep, they use it to bind, bind the food. So, try this food. They, it comes in a bunch of different, uh, different sizes. I do have to tell you, don't feed this alone because it's not proper. There's certain vitamins and minerals that we all need, but for cats, you have to have the proper amount of taurine, which is really important, and a couple of other vitamins and minerals. So you have to be really careful. This should be the topper. But if you have a really finicky cat, these are the kinds of things that if you add these into the cat's dry food, you'll be able to start reversing that trend. Another one of my favorite brands is Waruva. Uh, it's a family-run business. I know the owner. He's a very, very nice guy. He actually got me started canning, uh, making my own food. So this one is, I'll read you the uh, ingredients. It's fish broth, sardines, tuna, turkey, sunflower seed oil, like no carbs, very, little, very few carbs. It's a lot of cats like, oh, I didn't even discuss this. A lot of cats like a real liquidy food, which is what this is. Most cats, especially males, aren't good drinkers, so they don't get enough moisture. So for UTIs and, and health of the urinary system, 
canned food is better than dry food because it helps the cats get fluid into them. And some cats just do not want to drink. I know, Joe, your cat was a, a, a good drinker, though, right? He thought he was a dog. He thought he was a dog, right, 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 right. So here's two other ones, or, or one other one. This is a product called Core. I will read you the ingredients. It is, uh, I can, if I can find the ingredients, beef, beef broth, beef liver, lamb liver, venison, lamb, chicken, and then all the vitamins and minerals. Again, almost no carbs. So, oh, we're running out of time. So anyway, uh, I hope I convinced you, if you're a cat owner, to feed less dry and to add, and you know what, to be honest with you, I don't even care if you add friskies or fancy feast. Just cut down on the amount of dry. So that's it, Joe. We're, we're, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a sparkling week.